property is 1993 today. Found some foundation issues and some other issues around the property. Let's go check it out. One of the first things we always do in all the properties is I actually turn on the hot water whenever I first walk through the house. And I noticed with this shower right here, I had no hot water supply. I got hot water everywhere else, so I'm assuming it's with the, the fixture. So we did recommend for a plumber just to fix this issue. It's not that cra not that crazy, but it is something they definitely want to be a, not move into. Get walking into a brand new home and taking a cold shower. So uh, let's go check out the next issue. One of the next things inspectors look at all the time is the grading around the property. How's the water flowing? Whenever though, if the water is flowing towards it or we see dead spots, we know that water's sitting in the spots. This can actually affect the way the structure sits and moves. So we want to recommend for a drainage plan so the water can move around the property uh, pro properly. And the rule for that is six inches over 10 feet. As long as it, the water moves away, that's normally as associated with a 1% grade. Let's go check out the next issue. So I don't think you need to be a rocket scientist to understand that this age pack is old. It's uh, 1993, we're gonna write it up at the end of its life. Uh, with it being this old, it's running the old Freon R22. The motor's excessively off balance. It's really noisy, so we know it's close. Uh, the funny thing is, it's actually cooling okay, but we still want to let our clients know that it's close to the end of its life. Whenever I call out a foundation issues, I always like to go by the rule of three. Um, it's not any structural engineer rule, it's actually my own personal rule whenever I go by it. This house is actually pretty unique. Whenever I walk through the property, I notice that all the doors are open and closed just fine. It's been freshly patched and painted and I don't see any real stress cracks inside. The floors are perfectly flat because I shot them with a zip level. But whenever I walked outside, I noticed that there was a separation in the window. If I saw this one specific problem, I wouldn't consider this bad. I'd be like, okay, there might be a caulking issue or the window moved a little bit, but on this specific issue, I noticed that I had window separation on this side. On the exact opposite side of the property, I had window separation as well. And then also I had trim separation and a crack in the beam on both sides. This is enough for me to let a know that I need a structural engineer for the property. That easily falls in my list of three. So let's go check out the next issue. One of the last things I'm gonna show you on this uh, property is I see this all the time. It's actually the lack of kickout flashing. And this is the perfect example. There's no kickout flashing right here and you can actually see where the wood rot's occurring and the bow where the water is resting on this header board right here. So we know that we're lacking of kickout flashing. It's caused wood rot and we're recommending for a roofer to come out and fix this issue before the client purchases the property. That's Chris with Day Action. If you have any home inspection questions, please give me a call and please like and share the videos. Okay, all right. So, no. All right, so today, all right, for on this house, the trim board and there's another plane. <laughs> I can't.